Adam, uh, more of a club update interview, but before we get into that, no game scheduled until the 10th of March, quite a long way away. What are your kind of thoughts and feelings about that? Um, yeah, it's always frustrating to have such a long break um, in the middle of a season. Um, obviously, a couple of postponements and rearrangements for various reasons have kind of taken taken that into consideration and meant we've got a big big break. Uh, potentially, you could have a game put in on the 3rd of March, just waiting for the women's board to, to make an announcement around that. So, But yeah, it's frustrating uh, not to be playing, so we just have to really show up on making sure we're staying connected as a group and putting some of the things in place to, to keep the group ticking over, really. I know friendlies have been mentioned, whether that's internal or kind of external. Any kind of updates on those, or maybe just the importance of getting some minutes? Yeah, for sure. Um, we'll definitely be having some internal games uh, over the next couple of weeks, and looking to get an external friendly in a midweek as well. So, yeah, opportunities for players to get minutes, keep uh, minutes in legs, and keep players ticking over, and, and keep that match sharpness, which I think is really important. Um, the girls stay busy in the week, and... Obviously, through training and the stuff they're doing away from Tuesday, Thursday nights, they're, they're keeping sharp in that sense, but nothing quite replicates match sharpness. So it's really important that we, we get stuff in to, to keep us ticking over. Heading into the main topics of what we're going to be talking about in this interview, the junior section, quite a successful week for the 15s and 16s, making their respective cup finals, I believe. What's that like? looking across the whole club and seeing that success at junior level? Yeah, it's fantastic. And I think first and foremost, in those younger age groups, we're all about development. And then as you start to get into those older age groups where they're closer to senior football, you want them to certainly develop and, and uh, improve their game, but then also have a winning mentality. And the under 15s and 16s are having a fantastic season again. And uh, all credit goes to the, the coaches uh, working with those age groups, uh, putting tireless amounts of effort in, you know, um, Heather and Andy with the 15s and, and Holly with the with the 16s are really supporting those girls and um, their hard work is you know, showing in, in the fact that the girls are developing really, really well. We've got some incredibly talented players down at 15s and 16s that we're excited about. They're sort of getting closer to edging towards senior football as they move up through the pathway. So to see them going toe to toe with some big name clubs and, and big pathways across the country in the JPL is fantastic. Um, and they've drawn Watford and uh, Charlton respectively I think in their finals so that'll be a really good test for them both down south to get an experience of a cup final and, and play some real high quality teams with pathways that go up to first teams at a really really high level so yeah great credit to the club um, shows the, the strength and depth we have in our pathway and also the talent we have within our coaching team as well. Speaking of success, maybe not not Notts County success but a few of the players here are involved in their university teams and University of Nottingham have had quite a bit of success. Just maybe talk us through which players have been involved and what they've been up to. Yeah, so uh, Lauren and Thea, um, both uh, playing for University of Nottingham. Um, they've had a really successful season this season so far. They've just won the quarterfinals in the Bucks National Championships down in Cardiff and, and also they represent the futsal team too. And They've won Bucks Nationals um, National Champions this season. So really, really proud of them. Um, really good relationship with University of Nottingham. They've got fantastic program over there and great staff and really really good players um, so we're really lucky to have a, a good working relationship with UON and um, yeah we're really happy with the success the players have enjoyed over there as well it's great. I suppose that eases your headache as well as certain players maybe getting some extra minutes in this break? Yeah for sure it's, it's brilliant because we know that the, the level of quality at UON is fantastic in terms of the games program that they've got there as, as well as the program of training that they have um, so they're training several times a week with the SNC support and various things and their performance environment is is great for us um, so yeah it's super to see them uh, being successful on the pitch and obviously getting minutes and continuing to stay much sharp so when our games do come that they'll be they'll be ready and a couple of new faces around in training is it important just to maybe add a bit of extra quality or just that bit of extra competition to keep people on their toes at this time of the season? Yeah, I think it's vital. Um, it's always important that we're looking to add quality. Um, we never want to bring anybody in that we feel is not going to impact the 11 or the 16. That, that's the first most important thing. And the characters have to be right as well. They have to be good people that um, fit into the group. And yeah, we've identified a couple of players that we've taken a look at at the moment that are training with us. And they're adding to the quality of training, lifting the group. And yeah, really, really important to, to sort of keep that picture evolving and make sure that we're open to uh, bringing players in if they're going to make us better. 